So let's take a closer look at the Spotlight Manager. You can generally split the software into three parts. This is the first part, number one here, where you can see the running trades, which is giving you the ticket number, the name of the instrument, the direction buy or sell up or down, and the lot size. Then if you scroll down below, you will find the same list, but for pending orders. So let's say we have a sell limit. Okay, if you scroll down, you will see XRP sell limit 0.22 lots. Okay, uh, so this is the top part. Then the second part is right here, which is basically um, here to assist you when you take the decision how much of this position you're going to be managing. You have two options you can select fixed lot or you can be doing percentages of this number. The third part is right here where we can see the features, okay? Those different boxes are pretty much giving you the different opportunities and what you could do with the software and how you can handle this trade. So if you go ahead and select the first box, you will be able to uh, manage your positions based on indicators and create your personal conditions. Once these conditions are met, you can select which of these actions to happen. Then you have the drawing and studies, which is basically uh, you're looking for false breaks, you're looking for trend, right, trend line breakouts, you're looking for whatever it is that involves some kind of drawing breakout, you can do that here. Then you have the indicator sequence, which is pretty much predefined conditions. If stochastic crosses up, if you get MACD cross down, and the list goes on and on and on, which is, by the way, constantly updated. So let's say you want to be um, managing your position once you have divergence against you. You, you sold somewhere around here. You want to do something with the position once you get um, MACD divergence. Very easy. You can go ahead and do that right here. Okay. Uh, and at the top, uh, sorry, at the bottom, of course, you have the two-step management, which is basically if the price goes to here and then if the price goes there, I would like to do this, right? So pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You go from the top to the bottom. First thing is you select how much, uh, sorry. First thing is you select the order that you'd like to manage. Then you select how much of this order you would like to manage. And then you give the conditions to the software and which type of command to execute. Once the conditions are met, you're done and uh, the software will take care of the rest. Thank you.